Okay, let's do this. Mm -hmm. So they have stone singers. What is that gloomy thing standing over those stone singers? Oh, that's also a new enemy, I think. This one is, huh? Right. Does it have 18 strength? Splinter. Plus 3 armor damage to Reg causes 1 armor damage to all adjacent Reg. Sentinel. When a stone singer is hit, all Gloom Wardens focus on its attacker for a round. Shudder covers all dredge on the battlefield with volatile spikes that shatter on any impact. Interesting. So, I'm, of course I'm kind of tempted to go right for the stone singers, but that might uh, earn me the ire of this thing here. I think it's still the correct thing to do, though. Oh, uh, we can't reach him. Right. It's this guy's turn. What can he do? Oh, okay, so these are the splinters that shatter on impact, I guess, huh? Um. This is the poor man's eagle. They're running away, conjuring. Problem is, if they're successful, they will increase everyone's strength by three, I think. So I want to get rid of them if I can. Yes, a bit more. No. Fucking RNG. Did I already say that I don't like the RNG? I think I did. Alright. I don't know what he's conjuring as well. Call the weak, but air rage. Uh, what are these again exactly? Counter attacks plus lowers armor and causes fear in adjacent enemies. Uh, well, I think. Oh fuck! I stand next to this guy now. <laughs> so mm, that was a mistake, of course. I hope the second attack goes towards him. Uh. Yeah, alright. Something, something. 16, but... This is fine. Oh no. Yeah, exactly. Right, so her abilities... Miguel. It randomly generates runes of power within a seven tile diameter area. Well, yeah, alright. Do it here. Alright, they're here. Increases attack plus three, increases armor plus three. But I have to go back there. No, the RNG. Break shield on enemy, break damage to enemy adjacent unit. Yeah, I don't really want to break my shield yet, I think. We can start doing shield damage. Mm -hmm. This guy weaker. Oh god. Plus three strength for everyone, huh? Alright, we're screwed. We're screwed, guys. I mean, the stone singers alone. Oh, it doesn't affect the stone singers, it seems. Okay. Well then. Next storm. <sighs> and what? 
Plus three strength again. Oh. This is a tough fish fight. Give me a second here. So if I reduce this by a further four, it'll be at three, so I'll make I'll do like ten nine damage to him. Start. This might be better though. He's has 16. Fucking hell. 16 strength. Need to go here to start doing damage to him, which means standing in that. Oh, 11 watt. God. I think I might have screwed up here. Again, all right, we need to get rid of him. Man, those those plus three strength for everyone, they're beastly. Of course, can help. my existence. Alright, so we did have three injuries here, but that's okay. Oh, there's more. Fuck. I don't know if I can. What? What? Right, that's what I was about to say, full back. Alright, wonder got a promotion. Full back's injured. That's why that's, uh, that buff plus three strength for everyone is so powerful. Um, 
because as it is, strength and armor values are kind of balanced and the enemy can't really do a lot of strength damage unless they attack your armor first. But if they have this buff and armor is just a little bit lower, they often they can often do a beastly amount of uh, strength damage just right off the bat, so gotta be careful there. Gotta watch out for those stone singers. Not get them, let them cast. Fall back, Goodmunder repeats. The opening is ready to come down. As everyone sprints into the mine, the guard captain tosses you a heavy hammer and points at a timber. You deserve the honor, he says. You turn and look at the grey sky, the snow, Bindal, and the dredge walking toward you. With a hefty swing, the timber snaps and rocks begin to fall. You drop the hammer and race down the shaft towards the, the light of the torches. How are you doing for supplies? Alright. Ahead, the path comes to a dead end. Against the smooth surf surface of a large flat rock. We should camp, Zephyr says. It may be the last decent sleep these people get for days. I'll need Nichols to assist me in opening the path beyond. But first, you and I should talk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Training heroes. Have a quick look at our heroes. Injured for three days, huh? I could promote him. Uh, I don't really know what I would give him though. Maybe exertion. I mean, I could still max out his armor as well. Foka doesn't have enough kills yet. She doesn't either. What would I give Ollie though? I mean, I think it's it's useful to upgrade him actually. Because more armor is good for him, for sure. At least get him to 14. And then, yeah, I'll also, also upgrade Bulwark. I want him to get to level 10 after all. 14 armor, yeah. This is better. Right. He doesn't have enough kills for level 9, that'd be 24. Alright, he'll get there, I'm quite confident. See if we have any new training. Try to keep up. Oh, come back, come back with uh, someone new. All right. Maybe another ten time then. Um, do I want to train a clansman? I don't think so. Could talk to her or rest. Let's talk. A few, a few small fires provide a sense of calm for the caravan. So the villagers keep well away from the ravens. There is enough light to see you are no longer in a man-made mine, but an eternal cave of sorts. What are we doing here? Staying alive and keeping Veloa from the dredge. I thought that was obvious. We keep heading down like we're hunting dwarves. Valka gives you a ghost of a smile. So are there dwarves in this fantasy universe? I've never seen or heard of any. Until today, no one but a few in the council knew about these tunnels, not even Menders. We didn't create them, but we've used them a great deal over the years to travel far distances quickly. Zephyr becomes quiet, awaiting a question. Why keep them a secret? Because the more you know of this world, the more frightening it can be. If children knew how many spiders were in their house, they'd never sleep. It never hurts to have a way to outmaneuver your enemies. The Valka doesn't respond. Zephyr becomes quiet, awaiting a question. Where do they lead? Practically everywhere. Aberang, Voy, Grofheim, or what's left of it. I'm not sure anyone knows the full extent of these underground paths, but we're about to enter a corridor, one of the main tunnels. So where are we headed? 
Where would you go, knowing you possess the sleeping body of the immortal Sunder General? Don't answer my questions with questions. My apologies is often the way we instruct young Menders. Manaha is the safest place to secure Bellower's body. Whatever drew the Dredge army to us in Bindal, the Council can find a way to stop it. What about my raven? So far, helping Valka pays less than a bloodshed coin. And that is why I'm talking to you alone now. The corridor will lead us to Manaha in a week's time. That seems very fast. I mean, just given the straight distance, that seems very fast even. Even considering you'd be walking in a straight line. See us there safely, and I give you a genuine Valka oath. You will be rewarded well enough to never need to work again. You look around for the cave walls and back the way you came. We'll go to Manaha. We were heading there after the Blue River anyway. Um. I think we'll rest for three days to get our morale up and also to have our heroes all healed up. Yep. In the light of torches, everyone is covered in soot and dirt. They smell bad too. It comes as no surprise when the sound of running water excites the caravan. It has to be some underground river or something, a woman says, and all the villagers start moving in that direction. Mm. Push ahead of everyone. With large strides, you clamber over slick rocks and get in front of the others. You stop at the side of, a long, of long blades of pale grass, blowing as if on a windy plain. But there's no wind. The sound is just like running water. It's just up here, young man says, rushing past you. Vines lash out like whips from beneath the grass and grab the man's legs, sinking thorns deep into his skin. You reach for him, but his body falls lifeless almost instantly. A few more cracks of the vines um, sound out down the road. Get back, you roar, and everyone obeys, falling back the path. Minus four clansmen, I guess that could have been worse. My reasoning here for just... Um, rushing past them and checking it out myself was that I was afraid if I was just gonna say everyone stay back, scouts will check it out. First of all, people might not have listened. Secondly, we might have lost the scouts. I don't know. Also, it seems like a bulwark thing to do, to just rush in and do it himself. This is terrible, Zephyr says, taking the desk personally. We should, we should stick to the paths as much as possible. Too much can go wrong down here. Faces of those passing you are frightened. Morale decline. What's that? Another camp? Boom. Hello. The man's sudden appearance makes you tense. I didn't mean to sneak up on you. Something I do, I mean. Something I've learned to do. Something that will get you killed if you do it to me again. Under... Yes, understood. But uh, it does have its uses. Just allow me to fight alongside you in a, well, a fight. You won't regret it. You scoff and turn away from the man, only to see Gudmundur approach. I see you, Matt Ditch. Strange fellow to have next to you in a fight, but he finds his way through enemy defenses. And then you fight next to him. People near me tend to get hurt, but his injuries won't be an accident. Okay. Ditch is walking alongside a woman you've never seen before. He seems captivated by her, but her unfamiliarity nags at you. Quit worrying about some human woman. Ask Foucault she is. So earlier with another man, Foucault says. Must be nice to get such attention. She realizes you're looking at her and clears her throat. Not that I, uh... Not sure what she is, though. You nod and decide to keep an eye on her.
Though torches highlight the craggy black rocks and puddles on the path underfoot, they do little to keep everyone together. Sharp turns around boulders quickly block lines of sight. What? Minus 44. Could I have done anything about this? That's quite a... That's like almost 10% of our people. We've lost a few families, Zephyr informs you. We need to stop and find them. Yeah. Shout we're over here. This is the only time. I appreciate the help, she says, and splits everyone into search groups. As you search, you realize it's just a hard, as hard to track time down here as it is above with a sun that never moves. Sometime later, you think you hear voices to the left. Call out. Using a softer voice than usual, you call out. You there? A moment later, you hear a response. Who there? The voice sounds like yours, but different. Keep moving. A bit further down, you find the source of, source of the sounds. A mother is holding her children, tucked away in the recess of a rock formation. She whimpers as you approach, and Volker says, Better let me handle this. Moments later, you all head back to meet with Zephyr. Surprisingly, all the missing classmen were found. Good. Because I think, yeah, that was just an echo. Uh, what we heard earlier, and we might have, like, fallen into a pit or something. Water... Also, uh, our supplies are doing well. I just think we're gathering faster than we're using them up. Water barrels are running low, hopefully your quartermaster reports. And I'll be damned if I start licking these slimy rocks for a drink. The shield maiden looks at you. If these people start getting desperate for water down here, cut her off. I know, you say. Send out some scouts. We'll camp here until they return. Some of your ravens and other members of the caravan group up and grab torches, rope and water skins before heading off in different directions. Better catch some rest while you can, Volker says. Nothing to do until they get back anyway. Laying down, you focus on the sound of a small drip somewhere in the cave. It grows louder like the beat of a drum. Like thousands of feet marching behind you. You turn and everyone stops. You see the glowing eyes of your army looking at you in admiration. A hundred members break, break formation to dig holes in the cavern floor and place stone bowls in the depressions. The bowls quickly fill with water and the first is offered to you. You slake your... Th slake? Is that a word? I've never heard it before. You slake your thirst before seeing your red armored reflection in the bow. You wake up with a shout and Falka joins you. What was it this time, she asks, concerned. Say nothing. It's hard to know what to do or how to help when you act like this, Volker says. I've got enough to worry about without worrying about you losing your mind. Some other scouts return with some water, others simply don't return. A rope bridge with wooden planking crosses an open span in the, in the cavern formations. Old Fulker says, narrow and not meant for carts. Get the menders to reinforce it. Both Zephyr and Nichols move through the crowd and begin tracing patterns in the air with their staffs. The only thing you see is a slight lift in the bridge, but they walk across first to calm any fears. The caravan crosses without incident. I'm pretty sure that was the right decision here. Just keep going would have probably ended up in someone falling over, or maybe even the End of it collapsing. Just go one card at a time. Might have been a little safer, but I'd have still ended in ended in losses. Uh, oh, there's quite a few, quite a few uh, talking options. Also, I wanted to do um, training again because we do have a new fighter now, the rogue that can just vanish. Right? Gotta find out about that. The young Mender stands tall and proud as you approach. Bulwark, I was thinking, well, wondering about what it takes to become a raven. I've never heard stories about a test or trials to join. Is there a test? Why do you care? Aren't you Zephyr's lackey? Well, apprentice, yes. Uh, I'm a full Mender training to become a Valkar. 
Part of our training requires world experience. Couldn't you work with a blacksmith or something? Nichols frowns at her. Would you kill someone for coin? Kill for... The Mender's face pales a bit. I mean, I guess, if that was the job. Fuka walks up and clams her hand on one of Nichols' now sagging shoulders. Most of what we do never makes it into the Scarlet Songs. I guess I need to think on this a bit more. Let us know in Manaha. Nichols nods as you walk off. And back. The spearman is standing alone, staring off into the depths of the caves. If you take off down one of these tunnels, we're not going after you. Buck doesn't respond. He doesn't want to talk. I like him already. Do you know the worst part of it all? <laughs> Never mind, I don't like him. Save your whining for someone who gives a damn. Yes. Fill the silence with tough talk, right? But it's still there. Maybe not for a Val, but for humans. There's a silence from loneliness. Fuck inhales sharply. He's hit a sore spot. Maybe these tunnels and caves make it worse. There used to be days of talk. We used to laugh. Are you talking about your fan spear again? Buck turns and stares at you with eyes of a man undecided on going mad. Lofen helps where she can, but no, there was another. Now, there's an endless hole shaped like her. If I don't keep falling it, if I don't keep filling it with work or drink, he walks away without finishing his thought. Keep an eye on him. I'm the only one who gets to lose their mind and start killing. He's not crazy, he's alone. Wherever she was, he still thinks she was the greatest. I'm jealous of her. It would be nice to have someone feel that way about me. Oh god, Volka! She's dropping hints, isn't she? Uh, it's the second time uh, now that she's made a remark like this. Is this her attempt at flirting with Bulwark? Is she into him? I don't know. Ah, weird people. I don't care much for them anyways. You shake your head, snort and walk away. Fan humans. Yeah, right. Women, am I right? Oh god. Bulwark's such an asshole. I can't even. Right, it's training. Uh, what can you show me? Well now, I didn't realize we'd be having such a fine lady around. Wolfie straightens himself as a smile that smiles at Valka Zephyr. Perhaps I can teach you something and you me? Zephyr looks at him, not amused. Right, Wolfie says. Well, where's that in great ditch? You two might actually do some real damage together in a fight. You consider what he's saying. You feel up to the challenge? Yes. So. We're using the... Oh! Yeah. I see, I see. The Valka with her buffs, together with... Uh, the Rogue. So right, so you can move freely through allies. 8 strength, 9 armor, 7 or 6. Full power to exertion, 3 armor break. That's good armor break. Check. Become invisible next to an ally. Hidden attacks ignore part of target's armor. Alright. Runic Gale. Four times. Use track to defeat enemies. Alright, so, back. Ignore six armor. Oh. That, that's pretty good. So, I, I guess by uh, saying Runic Gale four times, what it meant was walk through four rooms, right? Because casting it didn't, didn't change anything. Right, 
so... Guess I'll do this. Two out of four, yeah. Alright. So he has, what, 15 armor now. Does that stack? Indefinitely, because that be... That'd be impressive. Oh, it deletes the runes though. Alright, and creates new ones. Attack plus three. <gasps> oh! That's beautiful. So I'm a break plus three. What a crap. Oh, I like this. Alright. This is actually the first dynamic from the new game that I really like. Look at that. He has like plus six. He's gonna do insane amounts of damage now. This is fun. Alright. Yeah, more runes. Why not? Um, I just hope... Oh, wait. His armor is gone again, though. So it doesn't seem like they... <sighs> they stick around forever, right? Is it just, like, one rune... Is it just one rune uh, that you can have activated at the same time, maybe? I don't know. I mean, everything else would have been pretty, pretty brutal. Um, yeah, well... So if he ignores six armor, it's like two armor plus three, that'll... should be able to kill him. I don't... So if he ignores 6 armor, that put this guy at 2. With 8 strength, that's 6 damage. But doesn't he have plus 3 strength damage from the roof? I don't get it. Oh, and he stays hidden? No. Alright. Weird. Don't completely understand it yet. It's not as fun as I thought. I need to specifically kill enemies with track. Why can't I? Oh, because I'm not next to an enemy. All right, uh, 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 an ally. All right, never mind. He's down to one. No power. Gotta be mindful of that a little bit. Alright. Right, so you can track now. further. I mean, it takes a long time killing someone with the rogue, right? 
because you I mean, you need two turns, because you need to activate track one turn and then attack the turn after. Ah, uh, actually not as good as I thought it might have been. Mm, she's getting low. Probably gonna get knocked out pretty soon. Wait, I do have. Oh fuck! That's not. I might have messed this up. Fuck. Also, all right, never mind. I don't have any willpower left. Otherwise, I would have mended her because she's gonna go down now. Champion. No. Uh -oh. Problem is, if I don't have any allies to vanish next to, you won't be able to do this thing either. So, two. Now they're gonna kill. Ow! Vanish. But I don't think I can ever do enough damage to kill anyone. Last one standing, yeah. I mean... Damn it, I messed it up. Alright, let's do that again. My renowned rose, huh? From failure. And of course, I can get promotions from training now. No renown, though. That's fair. <laughs>